Charlie Hebdo to republish Muhammad cartoons at the start of terror trial. In Paris, France, French satirical weekly Charlie Hebdo, the target of a massacre by Islamist gunmen, republished the hugely controversial cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad to mark the start of the trial of alleged accomplices to the attack. Twelve people were killed on January 7, 2015, when the two shooters went on a rampage at the paper's offices in Paris. Quote, we will never lie down. We will never give up. Director Laurent, uh, Laurent Vries, uh, Suro, I'm sorry for my French, wrote in the accompanying editorial. Quote, we have often been asked since January 2015 to print other caricatures of Muhammad, the editorial stated. We have always refused to do so, not because it's prohibited, but because there was a need for a good reason to do it, a reason which has meaning and which is, brings something to the debate. French President Emmanuel Macron refused to, pub, uh, refused to condemn the republishing of the cartoons, saying it's never the place of the President of the Republic to pass judgment on the editorial choice of a journalist or newsroom. Never. Because we have the freedom of the press. End quote. A lot of people are celebrating what Macron said, but isn't that like what would be expected of him? Or like, was it like extra for him to come out like, you know, openly like making that clear? Like, look at look how many people like we got. Look how much pe how people how people, we when we posted the original of the republishing of the cartoon, right? We got like six hundred and fifteen likes, one hundred and forty three comments. But then we got when Macron posted the news of. Uh, Macron said, I won't condemn the cartoons of Prophet Muhammad. Look at how many, we got 1.5, uh, 1,500 likes and 290 comments. Like, that's a lot of, a lot of people were happy with this, right? I mean, I'm good. I think, like, this is good because if people see what a positive reaction you get from not backing down, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe more politicians will grow some balls. And instead of, like, mm -hmm. instead of trying to appeal to the religious mob, they will be like, hey, Maybe secularism is actually popular. Maybe I could appeal to secularists, right? I don't know. What do you guys say? Maybe not even approve, uh, appeal to secularists. Just stand up for enlightenment values. Well, that's the same thing, though. Rivka. Well, I mean, I want to make a point. It's extremely important that um, President Macron uh, said this because of the laissez-faire in France, which is the secularism which the country is known for. And also remember that France is the seat of the Enlightenment, and that's part of why they were, they are, and have been targeted by a lot of these Islamic fundamentalists. And it's important for him to say once again, as you were saying, to to reiterate that, to make it clear that the country, the nation of France, is the seat of Enlightenment. That they believe in freedom of expression, that they believe in laissez-faire, you know, the liberté, the uh, fraternité, égalité, all of those things. And it's really important, particularly now when we have all these people who are in positions of power or positions to have, uh, you know, uh, be able to speak with some authority, whether it's granted or not, to are constantly sort of obfuscating about what they really believe or dancing around an issue and not really saying what they believe or sort of, yes, you have freedom of speech, but don't offend. And, you know, and he did discuss civility, which is a completely different issue than free expression. So I think it's really important that he makes no equivocation about the laissez-faire and the enlightenment values for which the um, Republic stands for. So I think it's a good thing. Okay, but Chris, if Chris in the live chat, the reason why I sound today is because I'm not getting any sleep at all thanks to the, the Hindu mob coming at me, okay? So I'm getting like very, very little sleep. So it's, it's okay, so that's, yeah, but anyways, Look at how many people we have some from all over the world. But uh, Shopham, uh, Susanna, do you guys want to mention, uh, add to this? Because after this, I'm going to highlight some of the top comments on this. Um, Shopham, you go first. You're, You're muted. muted. 
You're muted. All right, Susanna, you go first. Um, okay. In memory of the people who were murdered in France for their freedom of expression, I'm about to take my beautiful rainbow Quran and I'm going to draw the Prophet Muhammad in the middle of it. Cool. Good. Good fast. Wait, hold on. Let me just make it bigger. <laughs> Wait, I got to get the little trimmed mustache. I got the beard. Here's his mouth. There we go. Uh, oh, that's actually that's actually quite decent. Is that a gay Quran with the rainbow Quran? Yes. By Muhammad. Oh, why you, you you murdered Muhammad? I'm sorry. And to prove that that is nothing hateful towards a person or an individual, I'm going to destroy my own book. Wait. Here's a picture of me. Okay. Wait, you're desecrating your own book as well? Okay. Yes. Okay. okay, okay. There's nothing harmful about this. Hmm. No one got you hurt. Be careful if you cut yourself live on air while, while saying that there's nothing harmful about this. Okay. <laughs> but yes, I'm doing okay. that on behalf of everyone that I know who cannot do that freely without putting their life in danger. I'm doing it as a symbolic form of protest to everyone who has disappeared, murdered, or in prison for blasphemy. Free mm -hmm. Mubarak Bala in memory of Mashal Khan. And I'm doing it as a symbolic form of protest against my own cowardice. Okay? Rivka, what do we say? What free speech never surrenders to anyone's imaginary friend? There we go. Okay. Oh, wait, so I just saying, they think free the, uh, freedom of speech doesn't include the freedom of offend? Then it does, it's not freedom of, at all? Something like that. I forgot what it is. Um... Well, Wait, blasphemy okay, so, isn't a crime. I mean, we can go on and on. Yeah, there's so many of them. But isn't Blasphemy Day is coming soon, right? You, September 23rd is International Blasphemy Day. Yeah, international. This International Blasphemy Day, I'm spending it all, all on Hinduism. <laughs> all on Hinduism, right? I'm. Yeah, so I'm. I'm not. I. I'm. I've done enough blasphemy with other religions. My entire focus is on Hinduism for the next month or so. Anyways, but let's see what is uh, the, some of the top comments here. Shopam, you're, are, you, are you back? You know, you're, you're muted. This is, <laughs> this is anti-Hindu um, racism <laughs> going on. What the hell is that? Okay, let's see. Um, the top comment says, hey, hello, your face. Whoa. God damn it, Shabam. Careful with the mic, Mike, okay? Okay. The first comment says, Hey, Allah, your favorite supposedly last prophet in, is being mocked, and you do not care about it. Come on, show show a sign that you support him. For instance, turning Macron uh, to a frog or making him blind. Otherwise, I will stop believing in you. Hurry up. Um... Wait, is that I'm gonna mute Shopham because he's not muting himself, even though he's having a lot of like mic audio background. Dan was saying freedom of expression rules uh, being paid attention to. Bravo. What? Freedom of expression rules being paid attention to. I have no idea what this means. What the hell? What does that mean? He he this? means the rules like the of freedom of, ex of oh, expression. Oh, there's a comma. He's giving it the uh, do it deserves sort of thing. Okay, that there's a comes. comma missing here. Like, see, it seems like freedom of expression rules. No, it's a freedom of expression rules. Yeah, I think there's a comma missing yet. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, I don't think uh, there are. I just think the syntax is a little weird, but I get what he's trying okay. to say. Yeah, yeah. Okay, freedom of expression rules are are being paid attention to or something like that. Um, I think, yeah, I, some people, I, actually I changed my mind because Macron's saying this, like people are like, well, of course 
you the, in France, the government shouldn't condemn the current truth, like obviously. But if so, why does this even need be, being said? I think symbolically, it's good that he said that. Actually, I changed my mind. Right? These are the values that should not just be upheld, but they need to also be defended constantly. So. Thank you for saying that. I think the first time in a long time I have agreed with Mr. Macron. Here's actually, let's see what the top comment on the original uh, republishing of the cartoon is. Yeah, um, every newspaper should publish these photos in support of Charlie Hebdo. Oh, yeah, that would have been so nice. That's Imagine so true because when it first happened, there were so many journalists Coward, and newspapers huh? who would mm. not show it. The yes. cowardice of the modern journalistic establishment was shameful. And there was one woman um, who was associated with Hebdo who she was talking about this on the news saying it's ridiculous that you guys won't show this you should go find this clip and she goes up and she tries to hold the paper in front of the camera and they cut away from her and they say we're not showing it was it zineb was it zineb i don't remember I'm that not sure. i don't think i don't know i don't think I don't it was think it but was i don't remember her. but um it was it was very moving and it was very telling the lack okay. of people willing to stand up in solidarity for what happened and the victim blaming because was they were surrendering to an imaginary friend. And 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 I want to say terrorist. something with, with regard to that, too. Often you hear uh, religious people discuss things like m making fun of religion, questioning it, derision. And they talk about it under the guise of respect, that you shouldn't do this. They're, they say, you know, they want respect, you know, for their prohibitions about doing things like this in the public realm, but they really don't want respect. What they want is submission. Yes. Yes, I exactly. Better myself. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, I'm sure from you back. If you're not, you have audio, say something. No. Okay. Go back to mute then. Damn. Mute. Yes. Shopom sounds uh, like the crickets. Yeah, so the cricket noises was from him. Uh, uh, from him. Anyways. Oh, wait. Gonna... Just like, there are going to be people who say that I'm stupid, or bigoted, or racist because I just did that for a culture and religion that I'm not from? Uh, so here's my Bible. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go. Let's move on to the... Oh, wow. Look at, Susanna's, look at Susanna's shirt, actually, guys. Link to our merch in the description. Look at the Atheist Republic shirt. Yay! Okay, okay. Um, all right. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore. But we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 